Cities in Uruguay once again found themselves underwater due to unprecedented rainfall. The unprecedented rains caused damage to buildings and chaos in transportation, as well as power outages. In total, approximately 19,000 consumers were disconnected in just a few hours. Over 100 millimeters of precipitation fell, more than during the entire observation period. The city administration sees that emergency teams are working around the clock to restore normalcy. Heavy rain was accompanied by strong winds that knocked down trees and power lines, leaving over 40,000 people in the region without power. Esto es Concepción del Uruguay. Esto es un verdadero desastre. Yo nunca había visto. Papel. Movement and public transportation are paralyzed, and currently, we cannot talk about resumption. Uruguay's Ministry of the Interior reported that 664 people were evacuated from their homes. Firefighters responded to 48 incidents in the affected areas, including 87 fallen trees and 99 poles. Storms and heavy rains follow a period of extremely high temperatures in Uruguay. The country's meteorological agency had warned of an imminent disaster, but their message was somewhat ignored, lost in the myriad of daily problems. Today, we are talking about colossal losses after the flood. Even if the water is drained from the main communication line, work is impossible until everything is inspected by specialists, and repairs are made to electricity and other vital energy systems. Damages will be compensated through the World Bank for construction and reconstruction. During the repair, attention will also be paid to the possibility of rebuilding some important objects for their future safety. During the disaster recovery period, children will not participate in school activities, and the educational process will be organized remotely using the Internet. Authorities urge to remain calm and wait for the situation to normalize. <laughs>